What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. you're watching He Spoke Style, and today we're taking a look at what's inside my gym bag. So this is my gym bag. It is the Regimen Gym Bag by Stuart & Lau. Really, really great bag that I get a lot of use out of. Waterproof material, leather handles, got a luggage tag here, and this is actually a pen and on the other side, it has basically like a little stylus that you can use to write on your phone. It does have D-rings on either side. So if you wanted to use the shoulder strap uh, to carry it, you could do that. And underneath has a base layer that is rubberized, which is really good for putting it down on wet surfaces. This bag has tons of additional features, as you'll see as I take you through what is inside. But before we get inside the bag though, over here, we have a nice little pocket for your water bottle. This is my blender bottle. I don't have the ball in there right now because it makes way too much noise for shooting a video. Now on either side of the bag, there are two compartments that you can use for storing various things. Uh, over on this side, it has a padded laptop sleeve with some elastic pouches for storing your cords and things. And then over on this side, basically you have some more pouches for more stuff and this magnetic key ring, which attaches in here, which is a kind of a cool touch. Now these are great features if you are uh, using this bag, both as a gym bag and a daily commuter. Personally, I pretty much use this solely as a gym bag, so I don't have anything in those pockets right now. But the one little extra pocket that I do use right here it has a small microfiber pocket uh, and it's where I keep my phone and my wallet. Now over on this side is a waterproof shoe compartment that snaps open and closed. And the shoes that I use for training are these right here. These are the Nike Freeze, super comfortable, great shoe. One thing that I find interesting is that I have a narrow foot, so most footwear that doesn't come in a narrow, I find myself having to take a size nine or European size 42. It's the case for most of my dress shoes. Athletic shoes, on the other hand, both my running shoes and these cross trainers, I have to take a 10. Nine is just too small for whatever reason. Uh, now, one thing that's really cool about the shoe pocket is that it has this hook inside that you can take and hang your bag up in your locker which saves a lot of space and makes it really easy to get inside the bag when it's inside the locker. So speaking of inside the bag, let's actually open it up and take a look. I'm gonna snap this shut. So first at the top here are some shower sandals. These are by Adidas. Extra pair of underwear for after. Socks for the workout. Now, gym clothes I'm not super picky about. However, I do really love the uh, Under Armour Tech Tee. Uh, I have several of them. Shorts, I usually wear a nine inch inseam. I have several different brands. These uh, happen to be Under Armour. I have a few pairs of, of Champion shorts that I got at Target. The only shorts that I bought that I actually don't like that much are from Dick Sporting Goods. Shorts themselves are fine, but for whatever reason, the material they're made out of seems to get stinky a little quicker than some of the other shorts that I have. Next, we have a pair of ratty old gym gloves. Uh, I try to avoid calluses on the hands. And this is a wrist brace. And I use a wrist brace because it was about a year ago that I sprained my wrist by stupidly putting an 85 pound dumbbell back on the rack one-handed. I knew immediately what I had done and I did not understand how long it would take for a sprained wrist to heal. Uh, it's better now uh, and it's been better for a while, but I'm still really nervous about injuring it again because e even when I thought I was better, I'd be doing something mundane like opening up a box and all of a sudden it would hurt again. So. I use this as a precaution and also as somewhat of a security blanket. Moving on, I do have a mesh bag here to put my gym clothes in after the workout. Makes it really easy to 
just pull them out and load them into the washing machine when I get home. There is a mesh pocket on the inside uh, and in there I keep my heart rate monitor. Always have it on when I train. This is the Wahoo Ticker X. Next, maybe a little strange, but I do carry around my own barbell collars or clamps. So in my gym where they have the deadlifting platform and basically the setup for other Olympic lifts, it's kind of removed from the main gym. Uh, there have been times when I've been down there getting ready to do some lifting, loaded up the bar, and then the clamps are in the other part of the gym and I just got tired of walking back and forth to get them, so now I bring my own. Lastly, I do keep a very simple little dop kit. It's nothing special. It actually came to me from Vaughn when they sent me some samples to try out. What I do really like about this dop kit is that it unzips here. And that makes it very easy to hang up in the shower. Um, so I don't have to put it down and it doesn't get wet or anything like that. So inside I just have some basic stuff, some travel size things, soap container, deodorant, a few ASAP travel size things, shampoo, conditioner, uh, body wash, moisturizer, just the basics. So that's it, that is my gym bag and what I keep inside of it. As always, links to everything that I mentioned in the video are down below in the description. Leave a comment, thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and until next time, thanks for watching and stay tuned. Oh my God, he's not sitting at the desk. What's gonna happen? <laughs>